In this video, I'll teach you how to create custom dot sliders in Webflow. Let's jump straight into it. Okay guys, so I have this Webflow project and as you can see, we have a simple slider element with five images of the one and only Big Chungus. He's a very, very, very chunky boy. So by default, there's certain ways you can style these nav dots. You can do this by hitting a Z and hitting over to the slide nav class right here, which is a pre-component in the Webflow sliders. And then from here, you can navigate to settings and there's only just a couple of things you can do. So firstly, you can change it from rounded to square by just checking this tick box. You can add a shadow like so. You can even get rid of the numbered labels like so. And you can also invert the colors just in case if it's a dark background or light background. But besides that, there's really not much you can do. Uh, of course, you can also add some spacing, let's just say from the default three pixels to seven pixels. That's essentially it. But what happens if you want these dots to be a different color? How do we do this? Well, let's actually take a look at this site by publishing it and going into the inspect custom code. So let's go ahead and go to this new tab. And then from here, if you click right click on your browser and click inspect, I'm just on Google Chrome, I can go ahead and click this inspect tool and just hover my mouse over this specific slider dot, for example. And it's really good thing to understand this code. Uh, you don't necessarily have to remember everything, but just as a Webflow developer, it's good to understand what's going on. So if you're actually proficient with Webflow, you should really understand the fundamentals of HTML and CSS. And if you do, then that should be no problem. Just keep in mind, Webflow is everything's very, very visual. So when you're actually adding a new class and changing the color, you don't actually know that in the background, Webflow is writing the code for you. But right here, as you can see, we have a class called dot w dash slider dash dot. And this is an automatic generated class by Webflow that is in each settings of the slider component. So you can see, we can see the dot specifically has a width of one EM and a height of one EM in this specific situation. And it has a background color of this white. It also has a margin and it's, it's position relative display inline block. So really the only thing that you need to worry about in this case is just the width, the height and the background color. So because we selected this not active dot, what we can do to test things out is we can go in to the width and just change it from 1 EM. Yours might be something else, but I'm gonna change it from 1 EM to 20 pixels. Then I'm gonna change the height from 1 EM to 20 pixels. So you can see that we've actually changed the dot size by manipulating the width and the height. The next thing we can do is we can change the background color by clicking this button right here. And this will open up a color swatch and you can go ahead and paste in your own RGBA or hexacode. Let's just say we want this to be yellow like so. And you can see everything is done. But just keep in mind, what we're doing in the inspect tool is really just manipulating the code, but it's not actually being, we're not actually hacking in the site and implementing these changes. This is just temporary. If I refresh the page, everything will be gone. So what we can do is we can copy this code right here and hit command C, and we can actually put it into a notepad or we can go back into Webflow and just keep in mind, in order to do this next step, you're going to need a paid Webflow account plan or a paid site plan because we need to add a custom code. So if we go into the plus icon and we scroll all the way down to custom code right here, um, right here, embed, we can drag this into the canvas and we can go ahead and just paste in the code that we just copied from the inspect. And what we also need to do is we just need to open and close with a style tag. So this is just a bracket, style, close bracket, and then ending it with a bracket dash style close bracket. So this is very, very standard in custom code and in HTML and CSS. Uh, this tutorial is more for like intermediate Webflow users, but if you're a beginner, just wrap your head around these concepts. So right now you can see that we've applied this code that we put into the inspect. Now if we hit save and close, you'll notice that it actually works in the actual designer view, which is amazing. Sometimes when you put custom code, it doesn't work until you publish the site, but in this case, it's working real time. So let's go back into this project. I'm just gonna refresh the page. That's why everything is going back to default. But if I click inspect and I click onto this inspect icon and I go ahead and click onto this specific active dot and you'll notice it's active because you can see right now as I hover my house, 
my mouse, it says dot w dash active. So you can see right now, this specific class right here that says dot w slider dash dot dot w dash active again this is a default class that webflow just automatically names you can see we can actually manipulate the background color right here so what we can do we can actually just copy this code hit Control c or command c go back to webflow open that custom code in better and just paste it between the style tags so i'm just going to put it right here and you can see that we've pasted the active color and what we can do from here is just paste whatever hex of code you want so in this case i might want this to be red so i can go ahead and just type in red and I hit save and close and you'll notice it's now red. So what else can you do with this? Let's just say you want this to be rounded corners or, or better yet, you want these specific dots to have radius, exactly the same principle. You just click onto this gear icon and you go ahead and just type in the code radius dot dot and then you can go ahead and just type in six pixels and then dot dot. Uh, so you wanna add border radius, sorry. So border dash radius so once you do that and you hit save and close you'll notice that the active one now has a border radius so really this not only changes the custom color or the custom slides but this really hopefully gives you an understanding of how how coding works because at the end of the day when you're on webflow and you're on the right hand side panel and you go into radius right here when you add a border radius let's just say i click onto this image and i add a border radius right here to let's just say 12 pixels, as you can see, it's kind of rounded. All this is really doing in the back end is just writing that class dot slider dash image, and then the two open brackets, and then border dash radius dot dot 12 pixels close. That's all it is. So I really hope you guys understand that specific premise. But from here, you'll be able to create whatever custom dots that you want. So if I go back here, you'll notice that it's very, very unique in this specific case. So I hope you guys find this video very, very helpful. Hope you really understand the premise of this and how to use custom code. And hopefully you learned a thing or two about creating classes and doing the opening tags. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want more Webflow videos and design videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I'll see you guys there.